We're here today to talk about subcapacity pricing and how you can save more than ever. We have with us today Peter Enrico, an industry expert in ZOS performance, and he is familiar to many of you. We also have John Baker, a throughput manager product specialist with a long history of ZOS performance. Welcome to you both. Hi, Al. Hi, Al. Peter, if I can start with you, is subcapacity pricing still relevant today? Oh, very much so. It's a topic I'm asked about quite often, especially since the savings can be so high when used with soft capping. I agree. Everyone's looking for ways to save money today. Using subcapacity pricing with soft capping has great potential. The key to soft capping is finding the right balance. If the capping is too relaxed, potential savings are limited. If the capping is too aggressive, service can be affected, which ultimately hurts the business. Peter, does this sound typical to you? Oh, that's a real concern of many companies I deal with. Many of the data centers are nervous about their online workloads when the four-hour roll-in average is reaching its max. The four-hour roll-in average reaching its max could be like hitting a brick wall. WM is going to drive down the CPU usage in order to make sure the four-hour roll-in average doesn't exceed its cap. When this happens, the onlines can be affected and it can take quite some time to recover. And MVS Solutions is in a unique position to respond to this problem. That's right. Throughput Manager regularly monitors the state of the four-hour rolling average. When the four-hour rolling average begins to approach the soft cap level, Throughput Manager utilizes both its understanding and control of the batch workload to gradually throttle back the low importance batch. As demand continues to increase, we throttle workloads more vigorously. As the peak CPU demand passes, Throughput Manager will gradually relax the constraints, all automatically. Oh, and that sounds like your users can be more aggressive with their cap levels and it can leave, leave the online workload some breathing room as the four-hour rolling average is reaching its maximum. Exactly. Right, and that actually addresses one of the concerns that many installations have and to use subcapacity pricing with soft capping. And John, what's the overall effect for our customers? Well, they've been able to lower the soft cap level even more, knowing throughput manager is going to protect their high-priority workloads. The monthly peak is lowered, and the reduced monthly license charges have saved some of our customers more than a million dollars a year, not just once, but every year thereafter. That's very impressive. Yeah, that's some serious savings. Well, thanks for telling us about how Throughput Manager can save data centers money by using subcapacity pricing. My pleasure. Hey, thank you, Al. And thank you for watching.